Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here again with another episode of Math Behind the Modules. Okay, class word. First of all, it's lesson 22, getting the job done, speed, work, and measurement units. If an object is moving at a constant rate of speed for a certain amount of time, not slowing down, not speeding up, constant, like a car with cruise control, it is possible to find how far the object went by multiplying the rate, how fast it's going, and the time, how long it was going at that speed, and that would calculate your distance. In mathematical language, we say distance equals rate times time. So example one, walker. So it says substitute the walker's distance and time into the equation and solve for the rate of speed. Okay, so I'm just going to give you an example. I'm going to say, okay, let's say if we have someone and they, they walked 50, um, let's see, what should we do? 50 feet. Let's say they walked 50 feet and we time them. So they're standing on a line out on the track at the school here and they're standing on the starting line and we shoot the starter pistol and then they start walking and they walk 50 feet, and it takes them eight seconds, okay? What was their rate of speed, okay? So what was their rate of speed? So we have this equation, distance equals rate times time. D equals RT. Well, we know the distance is 50, so I gave you the distance. So then we just substitute into the equation, 50 equals we don't know what R is, so we're going to put an R there, times time, which is 8 seconds. Okay, so we have 50 equals R times 8. Well, this is an equation with an equal sign here, an unknown value called a variable right here, R, and that's what we need to get by itself in order for us to solve this problem. Okay, this is kind of an intro to algebra, if you will. And we're trying to get R by itself. It's called isolating the variable. And letters in math are called variables because we can plug a value into it, change it, in other words, and find a new value. So that's why they call them variables, because they vary in value. So I'm trying to get R by itself. And this is multiplication. So in order to cross this equal sign right here, we have to do what's called the inverse operation. So if it's multiplication, I want to do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. If it were division, I'd want to multiply. If it was addition, I'd have to subtract. And if it was subtraction, I'd have to add. And there's others, but I won't mention those at this point. So in this case, it's R times 8. So if we multiply something, it gets bigger. To make something smaller, we divide it. Okay. So I'm going to divide that by 8. And that cancels, and I'm left with R equals. Now, I can't put 50 over here because if I divided something by 8, and I did this, say this was on a balance beam, and you took a factor of 8 away from one side, well, then the other side would be heavy, and it would be worth more. So what I do to one side, you have to do to the other. So if I'm going to divide one side by 8, then I have to divide the other side by 8. And 6 times 8 is 48, so it's 6. And remainder of 2, 8. So, in other words, I'm just doing mental math here, so let me show you. 6 times 8 is 48. Bring down the 2. 8 times 2 is 16. And bring down that, subtract that, and we get 4. And add a 0, 8 goes into 45 times. So our rate is 6.25. So I would say, it says rate of speed. So this person was walking 6.25 feet per second. Okay? So there's a hint here. It says hint. Consider the units that you want to end up with. If you want to end up with the rate feet per second, then divide the distance feet by the time seconds. So a set tells you right there feet per second. Per means to divide. Divide feet by seconds. It tells you what to do. All right. Now we're going to substitute time in for a runner. Now we're going to run. And let me just say we're going to do a 40-yard dash. OK. 
today. Let me try. Okay, so now we're going to be running really fast. Okay, we're going to be like Usain Bolt here. And we are going to go 40 meters. Okay, 40 meters in, I don't know, I'm going to make it up, might not be realistic. 40 meters in four, five seconds. 40 meters in five seconds. Okay. So we use the equation D equals RT. If you're not given this, you should write it every time. D equals RT. Substitute in the distance, 40. Equals our rate times our time. And what did I say? Five seconds. Okay. So that's rate times time. I'm in the habit of using parentheses for multiplication. Okay. Divide by five, divide by five. And our rate equals 80 divided by or 40 divided by 5 is 8, and then we just say this, meters per second, meters per second. Okay. Probably not even humanly possible, but anyway. Example 2. Chris Johnson ran the 40-yard dash in 4.24 seconds. What was his rate of speed? Found any answer to the nearest hundred. Okay, please read the direction. When you're done, make sure you're doing what the question asks and avoiding losing unnecessary points. All right, so Chris Johnson ran the 40-yard dash. Well, that's distance right there. Okay, so that goes here, 40. We're trying to find the rate, and he did it in 4.24 seconds. Okay, so it's 40 times equals r times 424 divide by 4.24 saying one thing writing another and now my marker all right just talking to myself 4.24 divide by 4.24 so these will cancel and we get r equals whatever 40 divided by 4.24 is so let me go get my calculator Okay, so I have my calculator, and I'm going to do 40 divided by 4.24. 40 divided by 4.24 equals 9.4339. 9 9.4339. 9 okay, and this is yards per second. And then I'm going to go back up and read the question to make sure I've answered the question properly. And then I realize it says round any answer to the nearest hundredth. Remember? Tenth, th, tenth, hundredth. So I want to round to here. And this three will not change that. Rounding down, if you will. So my answer is going to be R equals 9.43 yards per second. Okay? Part two. In lesson 21, we converted units of measure using unit rates. If the runner were able to run at a constant rate, how many yards would he run in an hour? This problem can be solved by breaking it down into two steps. And it says to work with a partner and make a record of recalculation. So here's what we did in class. We're going to use that 9.43, and it's yards per second. But now we want to know how far he would go in a minute if he was going at that pace. Okay. So we're talking about seconds, we're talking about minutes, and we cannot mix our rate units. Okay. So I'm going to say 9.43, and it's yards per second. I'm going to write it as a fraction. Yards per second, and we're going to multiply by, and then we have to ask ourselves, we want seconds, and they're talking about one minute, well, how many seconds in a minute? And then you would say, there's 60 seconds per minute. Okay, there's 60 seconds in a minute. And now we're going back to our rate unit calculations. And if I write it like this, 
thing of division, anything divided by itself is one, so it cancels out. So here's the word seconds. Here's the word seconds. They're gone. I'm going to take 9.43 times 60, and that's going to equal 9.43 times 60. I did divide it. 9.43 times 60. That's 565.8. Okay. And here's our unit of measurement. Yards is still there. Minutes is still there. So it's yards per minute. If you're going 9.43 yards a second, you never slow down. We're going to go 565.8 yards per minute. And then it says, how many yards would he run in an hour? Well, now I can take my answer here and rewrite it over here. 565.8 yards per minute. And multiply that by, now we're going from minutes to hours. So you have to ask yourself, self, how many minutes are in an hour? And you say, oh, there's 60 minutes per hour. So then I have a measure called minutes here and here. They cancel. And I take the 565.8 times 60. Go back to my Webbit. 565.8 times 60. And I get 33,948. So that equals 33,948 yards per hour. <laughs> so if he could maintain that speed for a full hour, he would go 33,948 yards in an hour. All right. So we completed that problem in two separate steps, but it is possible to do it all at one time. And here is the layoff for it. So we started with, let's see, was it 9.43? Yes, it was. So I would put 9.43 time yards per second times 60 seconds per minute times 60 minutes per hour equals, and watch what happens here. I'm going to multiply the numbers. 9.43 times 60 times 60. I'll go back to my calculator. 9.43 times 60 times 60 again equals 33,948, which is what we got before, 33,948. And seconds cancel seconds, minutes cancels minutes, yards, hour, yards, Down below, it tells you to cross out in units that are both numerator and denominator. Part three, how many miles did the runner travel in that hour? Found your response to the nearest 10. Okay. So at the end of this unit, it gave us a chart. So if we go back there, or was it the end of the lesson 21? Yes. Uh, at the end of lesson 21, you have conversion charts. And I know there's 5,280 feet in a mile, but I couldn't remember how many yards there were. I could have divided it by three, but it's 1,760. So that's one thing I need to know. I'm just going to write that over here for, so I don't forget. All right, how many miles did the runner travel in that hour? Okay. So I would write, okay, he, multiplied, he ran 33948 yards per hour, but then I have to use the conversion value of how many yards are in a mile, okay? But then I need stuff to cancel out, so I'm either going to do yards per mile, so I could write this and then look and say, okay, well, yards is on top, yards is numerator, yards is numerator, my hour and mile are different. Nothing cancels here. I'm going to get yards times yards, which is yards squared. So that isn't right. So what I want to do is get rid of that 
move this to my denominator and put miles on top. And since it's 1,760 yards per mile, it's going to be 1 over 1,760 instead of 1,760 over 1. Now I have it in the right order. So I'm going to cancel my yards now. They cancel because one's in the numerator, one's in the denominator. And we're going to take 33,948 and divide it by 1,760. 33,948 divided by 1760 equals 19.28866. Miles per hour. Miles per hour. Okay. 19 miles an hour. Round your answer to the nearest tenth. Tenth is one place. So I want to round to here. This eight says to round up. So my actual answer will be 19.3 miles per hour. Please go back and read the question and answer in terms of what it's looking for. Cross out any units that are both numerator and denominator expression because they cancel. So yards. Exercise one. I drove my car on cruise control at 65 miles per hour for three hours without stopping. How far did I go? Okay. Well, see this miles per hour right here? See this miles per hour right here? You just stick that number here. And for three hours, three hours. So D equals R times T. The hours are going to cancel. Three, six, three times five is 15, carry the one. Six times three is 18, with that carried one is 19. And write down the rate unit, or the unit that we're using, which is miles, 195 miles. And it keeps reminding you to cross out those values. Right, the hours. All right, and I guess we left a space for me, so that's supposed to be right here. Exercise two. On the road trip, the speed limit changed to 50 miles per hour. 50 miles per hour. 50 miles per hour. In a construction zone. Traffic moved along at a constant rate of that 50 miles per hour, and it took me 15 minutes. And then they give you this little hint, because this answer is in hours. So 15 minutes is 0.25 hours, or a quarter of an hour, right? 15 plus 15 is 30, plus 15 is 45, plus 15 is 60. So you have four quarters on a clock. So it's a quarter of an hour. So you write the one-fourth there. So my answer is going to be... Hours cancel, and it's 50 divided by 4, or we can do it in the old-fashioned way, long division, 1, 2, 0.5. Okay, so my answer is 12.5 hours. I'm sorry, not hours. I always go back and check my work when I'm done, and I ask myself if it makes sense, and that definitely did not. So it took me 12 and a half hours to get through the construction site. It, the construction site took me 15 minutes. The question was, how far did I go? It's 12.5 miles. Always check your work. When you get an answer, don't just think, oh, I got an answer. I'm done. Move on to the next question. That's the question. The answer you got answered the question. Okay. And that was the lesson, so go to your box. Sit.